so I was here for an site inspection so thought of giving an idea of the structural members used in a steel structures so starting with this so basically this beam here supporting the purlins is basically a raptor beam and these ties here are known as fly bracing these are provided in order to provide lateral resistance to the rafters and as i said these are the purlins and that is rested on top of the raptor beam with cleats so if you see there so those are supported by a l a cleat plate with two m to well bolts into the purlins as well as you can see this over here so this is basically a lapping lens so this purlin is running across this length so on top of this raptor so they are lapped so that is lapping length which is basically 900 mm in general and it should be bolted on either side as well so that is the lapping length in addition to it for the lateral load we provide bracing on roof so this is the cross bracing provided on the roof uh, it may be an angle it may be a, a rod bracing depending upon the load and they are connected to the top of the top flange of the rafters with bolts and at the end we have a strut which can be again an angle or circular hollow section or a rectangular hollow section so that is a strut which takes the load from this cross bracing in this direction so that is the along the minor direction and these are simply supporting the rafters they don't have any moment transfer mechanism moment transfer mechanism happens only here with the portal frame action so you can see this uh, end plate connection and this reason is the apex so this is basically a moment connection so this is also a splice so to reduce the length and basically this is provided where the moment is comparatively less and this kind of arrangement so this is basically a heavier connection so the moment is subsequently high and this is basically a simple stud wall framing but these are not structural wall so these are simply an internal wall in uh, if there were some bracings cross bracing then we could consider that as a structural wall similar to these purlins for the wall we generally use guards so these horizontal members that runs across the column to column are basically guards which are responsible for taking the lateral load acting on the walls so they are supporting the wall clearings and the connection is similar to the purlin so they are connected to the column over here and we also provide similar kind of lapping length so you can see and it is bolted and you can see here they are connected to the column with the plate and a bolt arrangement